I've never seen a period in which the degree of uncertainty as to what the world will look like uh, politically is greater than it is today. What COVID-19 has done is to confirm the long-term trend of the return of Asia. Human society and history tends to pick up on three or four different topics that affect us all. One is disease. It's, a, it's part of our global history. One is on climate. One is natural resources. Uh, and one is on demographics. So right now, China sits in the middle of all of those kinds of questions. COVID-19 really revealed, uh, I think, a number of uncomfortable truths uh, about the United States and China and uh, their relationship. Underlying fundamental structural lucidity and rivalry in which a rapidly rising China is seriously threatening to displace the U.S. Security. The EU is in a very bad neighborhood, and that also links to the migrant and refugee crisis. One of the effects that we see is fear of migrants ramping up. I have been surprised how suddenly we are now concerned more about how many masks a country has mm -hmm. as opposed to how much oil or energy. There should be uh, a conversation about what is, what should be, the definition of national security in the 21st century. I think for the United States, alliances become more important. NATO becomes more important. It's very clear that because of COVID, the United States is going to leave the Middle East. We have to expect that some governments in the Middle East will fall. Already, we've seen a number of African countries that have suspended uh, elections. And I, I can promise you, I can guarantee you that there, there will be many more countries in 2020 that, that do suspend their, their elections. This U.S. election is the most important exercise of the democratic franchise anywhere in the world, I would say, for the last 90 years at least. It's embarrassing how terribly America has addressed this problem. I think it's very important for the next president of the United States to really try to heal what has happened to our country. The world after COVID is going to look an awful lot like the world before COVID.